John, here we are at a table. Uh, what's going on here? Uh, we're doing the last assembly of the uh, head stalls where you saw the hand edging and all the stitching being done. Well, that's Karen that we watched doing the, the actual edging, and now she's putting pieces together. Karen, what are some of these pieces that you're assembling? These are going to be the three-quarter inch head stall, the LH264, our real popular head stall. And I'm going to put these together and get them ready to oil them. Oh, there's another process after you assemble them, is that correct? Yes, to give them that nice, smooth, supple feeling to them, we dunk them in the oil bucket. Oh. Stamping them with the buckaroo leather. Oh, logo. I was so. kind of worried about a lady with a hammer in her hand. That looked a little... So you're sliding the... That's the, uh, the, the brow band, piece. the throat latch, okay. So we put that on first. And then we slip in the crown piece. Another great handcrafted process, A to B to C. Slip that in. Done with talented hands. Look at that. She knows what she's Add doing. On the cheek pieces. Holy cow. And that's all those fantastic flat buckles, John, is that correct? And um, Yes, they, they we use the type of buckles that lay flat against their cheek. Okay. You know, the one thing, John, on one of your other videos, uh, you were showing people how to add bling. To head stalls and so on so that can be done here on these also is that correct that's correct on oh, that's amazing easily. now karen you're actually you're tying the knots uh the, the, the one thing i love about buckaroo leather and our whole family does is we're real sensitive of how our head stalls uh, hook up to uh, to the bits and uh the old cowboy method of of having a a leather tie uh, to the to the bit is is I, I'm sorry folks it's a much safer than any Chicago screw I've ever seen not to knock Chicago screws but when you tie that good soft supple leather to your bit you know that you've got a good connection and it's going to stay there. Another very important uh, step we take as you just mentioned Chuck on the ties is this loop right here this is a hand braided rawhide loop. Okay let me get into that John now what's the function of that? That keeps the separation here between the throat latch and the crown piece and it also gives it a real uh, accent beautiful look versus some of the um, companies imported companies and some of the different companies will use a metal loop here uh -huh. that will rust and fall out or a leather loop and that's good old-fashioned we'll rawhide hand braided rawhide loop. okay now there's tooling on that brow band is that correct so this is where the different the brow band you showed us of the buckaroo logo that could be there couldn't it mm -hmm. i yes. mean okay yeah it could all be all right so you got just a little hand tooling on the edges is that correct or am i hand edging hand edging hand okay. edging on all right the, on, okay. the, on the uh, to smooth all the edges off all right well, Karen, you've been assembling these for a while, haven't you? Yes, I have. I think I remember talking to you a year or two ago. <laughs> and now they're ready to oil. Okay. Now, is that, the, is that what we looked at before, John, the oil bath, or is this a hand process? No, the same oil bath. Okay, they'll go into the oil bath. Wow, I never realized there was so much that goes into the manufacture of one head stall or a set of reins and handcrafted here at Buckaroo Leather. I like your apron. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. All right, John, anything else to finish off this wonderful tour that you've allowed us to join you on? You, you meant, we mentioned bling. Uh, you also provide for people that have tack. They can accent their tack with different pieces. And that's available also on your website and at your, your favorite tack store that handles buckaroo leather. Uh, do you have any, there's probably nothing around real close to look at that, but people can refer back to your other uh, videos, All huh? the silver conchos, we have brand new breast collars we put up with a lot of the Roy Roger type breast collar in our earlier video with all the conchos uh, up and down the, the yoke of the collar. Right, yes. right. I want to thank you for uh, taking time to uh, watch. Well, I'll tell you what, Shirley and I enjoyed the drive. It was just, uh, what, on a two-hour drive here, and uh, I know you visited our ranch several times, and it was fun. I've never, of all the time long, the length of time I've known you, I've never really understood how all this goes together. And, well, uh, we've, we've uh, took a lot of pride in it over the 30 years, and uh, appreciate uh, all our customers, and want to thank you. Buckaroo Leather, an American company, offering the American horsemen and horsemen around the world fine handcrafted quality leather horse tag john thank you very much and crew thank you very much for putting up with me today i hope i didn't stop your progress 
This is Chuck Bartok signing off. 